All right, so let's continue from where we stopped. We have solved 100 questions. We are moving. So let's go to question number 101. So if today is your first day of watching, please don't forget to click that subscribe button. My name is Mas Atoka. My full name is Obodo King Silifine, also known as Mas Atoka. We bring you videos on mass, physics, and chemistry. Well simplified. Right? So the first question here said um, a wire, a wire of diameter 2cm lifts a load of 20 kg. Once they calculate the tensile stress. Split the tensile stress on on the wire. Okay, solution. Now, first thing you need to calculate is um, what is tensile stress? Tensile stress is a force over area, so we need the area. So they gave us diameter. Diameter is two cm. But I know that diameter is um, a radius is half of a diameter, so radius is equal to diameter divided by two, which is what two divided by two, which is what. 1 cm and 1 cm is then as 0.01 meter okay so i know that my area is equal to pi r squared which is what 3.142 times 0.01 all squared so if you do that you are going to get um 3.142 times 0.01 times another 0.01 so i'm going to have 0.123 3142 in meter squared. So they gave me that the that the mass here is 20 kg, which shows that uh, the force is equal to what 20 times 10, which is equal to what 200 newton. So stress, stress is equal to what force over area. So which is 200 newton. 200 divided by 0 0.000. 3142. So I have divide 200, 200 divided by 0 0.0003142. So I'm having 6365371237 mm. in what? Newton meter, Newton per meter square. So you can do use your own calculator to punch, please. So question number one zero two. Okay, question number one zero two. One zero two said, given given that that a is equal to two i plus two j plus four k. Then I say find find d divergence find divergence of core a solution like i told you before that the divergence of a core of any vector is what is zero so the divergence of a core of any vector is zero so let me open here just to be light one minute so so we move to question number one 103. So question number 103. So question number 103 said um, a uniform a uniform one meter rod is pivoted is pivoted at the center is pivoted at the center and is cost is cost to turn is cost to turn is cost to turn by two forces cost to turn by two forces each 25 newton applied applied at both ends of 
the rod. Then I say calculate the tor. The tor on the rod. Okay, so let us just draw it. I have this. This is the pivot at the center. So if here is one uh, meter, so it is pivoted at zero point five meters. Okay. So and we have two forces here. The first force is a uh, twenty five newton. Another one is a. Uh, I think the other one should go up. The other one should be like this, 25 Newton. So you can now calculate the tor. So tell me the, your own solution at the comment section. I'm leaving this question for you to solve. Okay? So we'll move to question number 106. Sorry, 104. 104 said given, given that A is equal to 3i plus 3j minus 4k and and b is equal to 3i plus 5j plus nk you now say find the value of n for which a and b will be parallel Okay, solution. Now, for parallel, for um, two vectors to be parallel, they are, one, their cross product will be zero. And, and secondly, the, uh, one of them should be a scalar multiplication of the other one. So I can say that, that A is what? Give me any scalar. Let me use uh, M. A must be M of B before they are parallel to each other. Okay, it must be a scalar multiplication of the other one so let us check my a is what 3i plus 3j minus 4k is equal to m into um, 3i plus 5j plus nk so if i open this bracket i have that 3i plus 3j minus 4k is equal to 3mi plus 5mj plus mnk okay so now let us compare. By comparison, we will have that this is equal to this. We say that 3mi 3mi is equal to 3i. So i take care of i. Therefore, my m is equal to 3 over 3, which is equal to 1. Okay? I've gotten m to be 1. Now let's compare the second one. If I compare the second one, 5mj is equal to 3j. So this take care of this. So my m is equal to 3 over 5. So my M cannot be equal to 1 and still be equal to 3 over 5. It's not possible. So therefore, this cannot be uh, parallel to this. We cannot get any value where this is parallel to this. Okay? So that is that for that. You cannot say that M is um, 3 over 5 and still 1 as well. So that is the problem there. Okay? So, so go to question number 10 uh 105 question number 105 said the dimension of surface tension 105 said the dimension of surface tension surface surface tension is equal to what force over length right surface tension um pressure is what force over area yes pressure is force over area why surface tension is force over length so force is what mass times what acceleration over length so my mass is what capital letter m acceleration is meter uh, per second square meter per second square so now divided by what the length so this take care of this so the dimension is now m t minus 2 so that is the dimension of uh what is it called surface tension so we we'll move to question number 106 question number 106 said a particle on pro processing eh? a particle on processing escape on processing escape velocity will dash you can browse that and know the answer they say for a vector to be okay sorry question number 106 okay you can answer that by yourself so go to question number 107 107 
So 107 said um, define rigid body in physics. So you can define that by yourself. What? So let's go to question number 108. So question number 108 said a wire, a wire of radius 0 0.0, sorry, 0 0.3 millimeter is extended is extended by 0.2 percent of its length when when it supports when it supports a load a load of 10 kg a load of 10 kg then i say calculate the young modulus calculate the young modulus for for the material of the wire solution this is a very simple question so what do we do uh let's, let's get the stress and then the strain then we are done so first of all they give us that the radius is 0 0.3 millimeter which is what 0 0.3 yeah 0 0.3 millimeter which is what 0 0.3 divided by 1000 which will give you uh question number 118 0 0.3 divided by 1000 will give you 0 0.123 in meters so i know that my area is equal to what pi r square which is what 3.142 times 0 0.0003 all square so if you multiply that you are going to be having that um, um, that is 0. Point, how many zeros one six one two three four five six then 28 in what in meter square so i know that stress okay they gave us force they gave us mass the mass they gave us is 10 kg so which you give us that the force is equal to 10 times 10 which is what 100 newton so i know that stress stress is equal to what force over area which is the force is what 100 divided by that 0 0.0234562828 so if you divide that you are going to have um that the stress will give you 357 142 857 in what newton per meter square okay so the next thing we are going to get is the strain the strain first of all there's something they gave us they say that the extension they say that the extension is what 0 0.2 percent of the length which is what 0 0.2 over 100 l okay 0 0.2 over 100 l so if you have that the strain is equal to what um Okay, they gave us that the extension is what 0 0.2 over 100 l so this one coming to this side divided over by l you have that e over l is equal to 0 0.2 divided by 100 okay so and the strain strain is what extension of original length which is we have gotten it as 0 0.2 over 100 okay so therefore your modulus is equal to what stress over what strain so and the stress is what Three five seven one four two eight five seven divided by uh that is zero this is zero point zero zero two zero point zero zero two so use your calculator divide that and then get the last answer and that is your young modulus for that so move to question number one zero nine right Question number 109. Question number 109 said find find the mass of air inside a room measuring 12 meter by 5 meter by 2 meter you want to say that 
if the density if the density of the air is 1.28 gram per meter cube sorry kilogram per meter cube kilogram per meter cube okay solution so the mass is unknown okay but we know that the volume is what 12 times 5 times 2 which is 120 meter cube i know that the density they gave me is what 1.28 gram per sorry kilogram per meter cube kilogram per meter cube so i know that what density is equal to mass over volume so therefore mass is equal to what density times volume so my density 1.28 times 120 so multiply them you have them um, 1.28 times 120 is 153.6 kg okay so 110 which is the last question i'm going to solve for this particular video question number 110 so question number 110 said um, a gun a gun of mass 3 kg fires a bullet a bullet of mass 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 2 kg westward and i say if if the bullet leaves leaves the gun with a velocity a velocity of 120 meter per second comma then i say what is the recoil velocity of the gun okay solution now they gave us that the mass the mass of the gun is 3 kg and the mass of the bullet is 1.0 times 10 raised power minus 2 which is 0 0.0 1 1 2 in what in kg okay so they gave us the velocity of the gun the bullet leaves the gun okay then i say what is the recording velocity so the velocity of the gun is unknown but the velocity of the bullet is 120 meter per second so you will tell them that momentum momentum of the gun is equal to the momentum of the bullet so what is momentum the mass of the gun times the velocity of the gun is equal to what the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet so the mass of the gun is three times what the velocity of the gun that i'm looking for is equal to 0 0.01 times 120 so therefore v of the gun is 0 0.01 times 120 divided by 3 so what do you have 0 0.01 times 120 and divided by 3 so i have 0 0.4 meter per second so thank you very much for watching please like share and subscribe please don't forget to comment